What's up my beautiful motivated friends? Today I want to talk about a topic that's really close to me, a topic that's been um, a huge, huge, probably the biggest struggle that I've ever had um, in my life, but especially this past year. And I know there's a lot of content here on YouTube, online, uh, talking about it, but I think, you know, it's great to get everyone else's perspective, tips, pointers, and what works. Um, it's about anxiety, specifically anxiety attacks or panic attacks kind of in the moment. So about a year now, it was starting October last year, where I'd be at work, I'd be calling people, talk to people on the phone, where it'd be in just an instance where, I don't know where, who knows why, I would just my heart would start racing and being really fast my hands would get really sweaty and i would get you know it's, it's just kind of like nervousness the point that not only could i not think properly i would be sweating but i couldn't breathe and it you know you get choked up on your words and you can't get words out of your mouth and it's really weird because it would be times that i normally wouldn't be really nervous about anything it's not like being nervous about what to say but after like maybe two of these I started having anxiety about anxiety attacks okay it would it would be like I would get really anxious all day about am I going to have another one of these anxiety attacks because it's one it's really embarrassing if you're on the phone and you're just choking up and, and can't breathe and, and you're just freaking out but it's just a really not fun experience and I think it's well it is the body's fight or flight response and the way the brain is it's gonna do anything it can to avoid any danger so obviously you know reptilian brain is gonna try to avoid me from having more of these so I'd get anxious about having them so it's just this vicious huge loop of, of anxiety about anxiety attacks that I've had over the past year. And it's something I still do struggle with a little bit. I still do have sometimes stronger than other moments. But I want to share a couple tips, some things that maybe I wish I knew at first that are kind of what have kept me alive. And there's a couple things, but, but first is just realizing when you're having anxiety, even when it's like especially bad, remember you are safe. You're okay. You're going to be okay. Very worst case scenario, you are okay. <laughs> There's nothing, you know, going to chase you or kill you or anything. Um, sometimes it helps to look the worst case scenario of what could happen in the face and just realize you're all right. Don't force yourself to relax because that really doesn't work. <laughs> Don't force yourself. Be calm. Be calm. No, that doesn't work. But tip number two, probably just as important, biggest thing that's helped me in the past year is have fun. Realizing this exact physiological response that your body's having, the fight or flight response of the sweats and the jitters and the adrenaline rush, right? You know, same thing you'd have if you're being chased by a tiger. So realizing that when you're having anxiety attacks, that your body's having the same exact physiological response, only difference is your emotional relationship with it is you know if you were on a roller coaster watching a scary movie you know think of what you do that you enjoy when you feel most excited realizing your body's having that same response and it's easier said than done have fun you know when you're freaking out and nervous but i just remember smile i'll try to laugh more try to make the person i'm talking to laugh um, at my desk at work, I have a picture, I should post this, there's a picture of uh, me, my little brother Spencer, and, and two of our best friends growing up, the last times we were all together, crazy, crazy dudes, but sometimes I'll, I'll look at that picture and it helps me and think, okay, if I was with all these crazy weirdos right now, um, 
you know, what, how different would be my sense of humor and how I'd have fun right now in this moment if I was with them, you know, act as probably the deeper, genuine goofball inside of me. But, but in these moments, trying to bring in some humor and fun, changing my story and relationship with the anxiety. It's not pushing it or fighting it or trying to make it go away. Or, or sometimes I'll be on the phone and I'll think, you know what? What does this actually physically feel like? Doesn't it actually kind of feel good? It's like, you know, you're, you feel a little extra awake. You get this kind of wave, this rush. You know, it's, it's actually a, a kind of physically pleasant feeling sometimes if you just really tune into your body and like, hey, I kind of feel, you know, not bad. I, I don't feel exhausted or tired. I hate when I'm exhausted or tired. So that's, that's just another thing that helps me out. Let it come and realize it comes and it goes. It comes and it goes and it comes and it goes. The worst thing you can do, I think, is to avoid it. Face it on. I mean, face those situations that do cause anxiety. Face it on and, and just conquer it and be aware of it and be with it and be okay with it being part of your life. And, and it's like the more you live with it and are accepting of it, the more it becomes less of this huge, big end of the world. I can't do anything to, okay, you know, this is a feeling. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, this is just a little extra adrenaline, a little extra excitement to keep me on my edge and help. I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, I've had some times where I felt extremely depressed because of my anxiety that I just felt like I couldn't go another day, another hour, you know. And it's, it's really, really, really crippling. But anyone out there may be experiencing similar things, know that you'll be okay. You can make it through this. You are strong. The fact that you're listening to me right now means you're probably looking for help, looking for solutions. You have the right mindset and, and just, you know, be brave and go after your, your struggles, you know, with a sense of courage and, and learning and applying these kind of things and you're going to be good. You'll be good. Things will be better than good. All right, well, that's all for today, guys. I love you so much. Thanks so much. Stay tuned and stay motivated. Peace.